Heroes Like Us is a series intended at sharing comic book characters from various backgrounds and identities. We won't always get everything right, so feel free to make amendments and corrections in the comments. They're always appreciated. What's not appreciated, however, is any form of hate speech or intolerance, so comments of that nature will be immediately deleted and those users blocked from this channel. This is a place of education and celebration. Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic and welcome to Heroes Like Us, our series where we look at a certain identity and then we look at comic book characters that have that identity. Before I get started, I want to give a special thank you to Duo from the 16-bit couple on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere. And they make retro gaming really fun and they play as a couple and they record let's plays and voiceovers. And he's been testing out intros and he made this cool little thing for me so that you can follow me on social media. So thanks to the 16-bit couple, go check them out. Uh, there's links down in the description. Now today, we are talking about Africa and African superheroes. We've already done one video about this, which you can check out right here, um, but there's more. And there's a couple actual indie creators from Africa that saw this vacuum and said, if no one's creating heroes for us, we need to do it. So we're gonna talk about two uh, specific characters that are coming out of these brands. And so the first one that we want to talk about is Guardian Prime from Comic Republic. His real name is Tunde Gia. Now I do want to preface that these names, if I'm mispronouncing them, I'm not super familiar with especially Nigerian names and these first couple examples will show you. Uh, so if I've mispronounced them like Gia or Jaye, um, let me know which is the correct pronunciation down below. So Guardian Prime is kind of the flagship character for Comic Republic and this universe that they're creating. And basically every 2,000 years a Guardian is created, basically in the image of God himself. And now we have Guardian Prime, Tunde. In terms of powers, he's basically invulnerable, he can fly, he's immensely strong. Uh, he is basically the Superman of the Comic Republic universe. He does have an alter ego, so by day he is a fashion designer. So there's a lot going on here in these Comic Republic books. Go check them out in the description below. Up next from another African publisher, Unique Studios, EXO, or E-X-O, Wally Williams. In this futuristic Nigeria, Williams goes on this quest to find out what happened to his father. His father goes missing and he finds this suit, E-X-O. And the suit allows him to do a lot of different things and he uses the suit to find out what's happening and basically protect his city from evil. Down in the description, I'm gonna list where you can find these different books and which ones are available for free. Like you can read the first issue of a lot of these books for free. So if you wanna support indie creators, go down into the comments and seek out Unique Studios and Comic Republic and let them know that you appreciate what they're doing. But now we're gonna to get to more mainstream comics with Marvel and DC. So up next from DC Comics, we've got Batwing David Zavimbe. David is a Congolese police officer and he is basically trying to protect his city from corruption and from a corrupt government. And he is sought out by Batman. And Batman says, I want you to be the Batman of Africa. And kind of gives him uh, the resources and a suit to help protect his people. By day, David will denounce the vigilante acts of Batman, but by night he will wear the suit and take out the people that are responsible for corrupting his beloved city. Eventually David retires and he passes on the title of Batwing to Luke Fox, who is Lucius Fox from Wayne Studios, it's his son. So in current stories it is Luke Fox's Batwing, but David was for a long time. Up next from Marvel Comics we've got the mutant Gentle. Nesno Abedemi. Nesno was born to a Wakandan woman, but a Russian man, and he was given the Russian name of Nesno, which means tender. And his character himself, he is a pacifist. So when he got mutant abilities, Gentle became his key name. Now his powers are to expand in size and strength instantly and dramatically. And this can be very dangerous. Uh, and he often kind of stresses his body to the point where it could kill him. So in Wakanda, they actually gave him, they painted on tattoos of vibranium that kind of contain it. 
And so as he expands, that slows it and keeps him from overstressing himself too much. Now at the time in Wakanda, he was encouraged to join the X-Men by the Queen of Wakanda, Storm. Up next for Marvel Comics, we've got Aya, Ibye Akonkwo. Now Aya is from Nigeria, and the name Aya comes from a Nigerian goddess. She has the mutant ability to transfer heat, basically. So if there is cold in the air, she can create fire. If there is heat and fire, she can now create ice. So she can control these two elements, but she needs there to be the opposite in order for her to actually do anything. So that is a major weakness with her powers. She first discovered her powers in her small town in Nigeria when she accidentally burned down her entire village and killed her family. So now she has no home and no family, and so she was taken in by the Xavier School where she learns to control and use these powers. She formed a strong relationship with Wolverine, who kind of mentored her and taught her, uh, and so she pops in and out of X-Men stories occasionally. So that is it for this video on our second trip back to Africa. Again, check out those indie creators down in the description, show them some love, and thanks for supporting heroes like us. We'll see you next time.